what's going on dummy gang yeah that's right we're gonna try it and see if it works but anyways um welcome back to a new episode of ADT fishing so today I'm going to go back to something I did a video on a while ago it's been some time but um basically I'm going to show you guys an update on pretty much what dummy thick looks like right now so uh yeah definitely don't go anywhere Basically where we left off on was the inside of the boat was painted. I don't know whether the framing was done for the casting deck, uh, but pretty much that was it. it. Was I had two bench seats and basically the inside of the boat painted. That's pretty much all the work I had done to it. So I think I at that point I did have my motor too, which is my 1956 Elgin five and a half horse. Yeah. It, it's dummy slow but um so yeah so let's get to it so as you can see now the outside is painted we got the decals we got the adt fishing logo or a variant of it obviously um the lines were a little too thin for me to make the decal myself then we've got the actual dummy thick decal written on there then we've got the brand of the boat. It's a Crest Liner, 1968. Um, so pretty much some of the stuff that I've done, I did have to go in and I had to redo all the tail lights on this trailer uh, just because they were pretty much under the boat. So if I was driving, you wouldn't be able to actually see the lights if I was braking or not. And I really didn't want to end up having an accident so I got that done. That might have been done in the last video. I'm not sure. I kind of did what I could. <laughs> There's a lot of different brackets there. Um, and then I ended up mounting this PVC pipe on each side. There's one on each side. Don't ask why the T's there. It was just something I had laying around. But that's to help me with backing up the boat because this boat sits very high on my truck. And when the trailer is completely empty and I'm taking the boat out of the water I cannot see the trailer at all so I put these on there so I could actually see it so that's what they're there for um, for the back of the boat um, nothing really has changed too too much I put some carpet on the back benches two back benches I put my seats on it I've had these laying around these came with the boat I might do some work on these to make a match a little bit better or just replace them I'm not sure yet, uh, but yeah, so we got the gas tank. I just bought the spare gas tank. There's nothing in it yet, but that'll be for in case I run out of gas. Um, but moving forward, again, we've got this bench that's got the um, carpet on there. I'll come back to that piece of wood that just looks like it's sitting there for no reason. And then we got the casting deck. So this casting deck didn't come out the best but i mean it came out pretty good i mean it's solid it's framed in there not going anywhere um i'm going to be putting a uh, hatch that's going to come down here to where uh, when i put my trolling motor on here and i do my electrical all going to it and possibly another fish finder this will be able to be accessed but it'll be hidden so you can't really see in there i got my decals i got two from six scale fishing uh the white one and the blue one I actually originally only ordered this one however they made a mistake and they gave me this one they told me don't worry about this one you can keep it have an extra one and they sent me this one free of charge so um, then I got the one from Wu Tungsten this is actually the first one I put on um, so yeah I mean it's actually looking nice the carpet looks pretty nice there's a few spots where I kind of messed up with the glue uh, and got some glue on there I've got this hatch. I have to put some sort of uh, latch on there so you can lift it up. And then in there I built a box. Originally this was planned to be for my tackle. However, uh, in there right now I've got just my anchor. Well, one of my anchors. And there is a tackle box in there. But that's more or less just to um, do an experiment. I just wanted to see whether all the heat would actually melt my plastic baits. And that way if I wanted to put a lock on that hatch and I wanted to leave all of my lures in there at all times I could so we're gonna come back to this piece of wood over here and this is actually how I'm going to store my tackle uh, give me one moment and I can show you guys exactly what I'm doing 
and there we go. Uh, so I'm going to come around and I'll show you guys exactly what that's for. Something else I did, I bought a lock. I know it's not on there right, but I'll fix it before I move the trailer gun. So this is right now my tackle storage. So I realized I can fit a lot more tackle on this. Obviously I've got my craw box there. Um, and I think I can fit 13 just going across this side here. These uh, labels don't really like to stick too well, but I think I can fit 13 going across. And then I've got these three that I put up on top. But I could also put more on top. But this is actually all of my tackle boxes that I'm actually using right now for this season. I've got some that I'm kind of building for next year but this is all that I actually fish with right now so I mean the point is if I could get this out on the lake I don't ever have to worry about having a bait that it's not with me I can always just open this up and I could use it so the problem is with something this big number one let's say that I capsize which I don't really plan on doing anytime soon however with this boat it's it's very very small as far as the width goes and um, I, I didn't really have a close call with it but being out on the big lake which I went out to it was kind of the party lake out here um it was crazy I mean the wakes that were being created were just they were massive and there was times that my motor was getting choked out from the waves coming back and hitting it. So, um, definitely going to have to find something else to, you know, a smaller lake or a pond or something that I can bring this to. But, um, in the meantime, yeah, I mean, if I were to capsize, all of my tackle could be gone. I mean, it's, it's pretty good in there, but I mean, you know, you always run the risk. So I might try to put some way to secure it. Another problem is if I try to leave this in here all the time theft if someone were to come up into my yard and they wanted to steal something if the boat's uncovered or even if the boat is covered up they could just walk over here that if they steal the whole boat all of my tackles gone too so um, that's a big problem as well but another thing is if I'm on a dock this is another obstacle to climb in the boat See, the problem that I noticed is I think I have the casting deck a little too high. So I'm going to probably next year trim it down a little bit and drop it down so that it's not so high. So it's a little bit more stable. But as you can see, just me putting my hand on this just with the trailer, which I mean, you could blame it on the trailer because this trailer kind of sucks, but um, it, it rocks. But you know obviously you know this rocks and it's really not the best but you know you get out on the water on it and it's just as unstable so you know especially put me which is a big dude standing up on this deck casting moving around it's very very uh very very tipsy and stuff so that's something i'm working on i'm also hoping to possibly put in a subfloor to this boat too uh, something that just sits down on these rips to where it's just flat across it leaves enough room for drainage and possibly some foam to go in there but it's high enough to where I can stand up I can be flat and I can actually fish from back here so the point of having this is because I won't be able to just climb through the boat you know constantly come back over to this and get my tackle out I've got this right here to where I can just walk up over to the side you know, pop the top off and grab all my lures, so. Um, but that's pretty much it, so. If you guys did like this video, definitely give me the like. Uh, comment, tell me what you did like. Comment, tell me what you didn't like. Um, and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe. Um, there should be a button on the bottom right. <laughs> Somewhere over there, I'm not sure. But uh, definitely hit that button, subscribe. I've got new content I'm pretty much going to be releasing straight through to the fall. So uh, definitely uh, subscribe and, you know, yeah. So that's all I got for you guys today. Have a great day. Get out on the water if you can. 
you know, if it's too hot. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, anyways, have a good day, guys.